Right, about to commence this important clash for the uh, umpire Ahern holds the football aloft. Throws it high in the air. Very, very heavy conditions at the moment. The ball comes to turf. There's a melee of players. The free kick's been pulled out and it's going to go the south's way. And it goes to Graham Fox. He gets on with play straight away. And the ball goes down the half forward line there. Mark Baker's in possession for the Union and will come out with the free kick. Mark Baker kicking into about a four or five goal breeze, sends the ball down and a strong mark taken over on the far side by Ivanov. He's roaming far and wide at the moment as he sends the ball with another drop punt kick down to the half forward line on. Oh, a great mark is taken there by Marchant, Tony Marchant, the uh, halfback flanker. He's away with a series of hand passes in the south, muff it up somewhat, but then a long kick sends the ball downfield. But it's marked once more by Ivanov. Kick number two for Peter Ivanov. He transfers the ball to this side of the ground. You can see the win. Oh, I thought he did enough there to take the mark. Uh, it was Michael Templeton. But the umpire disagreed and play goes on. The crowd disagree. Robbie Dykes gets the ball. He sends it down towards full forward. Rewalt's in position there with a heavily bandaged forearm. But the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. Been changes are plenty made to uh, both selected sides and at the moment it's uh, difficult to pick them up. I'm looking particularly for uh, Wayne Fox but I think he is at set a half forward. That's uh, Fox running after the ball now, number nine. He shepherds uh, strongly to allow a teammate to pick up the ball but he can't do so and it will be bounced by the umpire in the south's forward line. Two minutes of play have gone already as the ball is thrown up. Ball's taken out of the air by the Southern Ruckman. He can't do much with it, though, and I think there'll have to be another bounce-up. No, there won't, as the South get the football out. They don't get it very far, though, and once more, a very negative passage of football. Umpire Mustin from the uh, south sends the ball high in the air. It's dragged out by Rewald. He can't do anything with it, though. Gets a half-distance kick. The Union come away through uh, Mark Baker, but he's scruffed as he tries to get his kick. And uh, once more, umpire Mustin will step in and throw the ball high in the air, which he does now. Big thump away that time by Eamon. Comes down the, uh, the player there getting rid of the football was Hanlon. But uh, he's dispossessed as the ball comes towards the wing. Keegan sidesteps cleverly and then gets the ball away nicely towards uh, Simpson. Simpson sends the ball high in the air looking for uh, oh, a great mark I think will be paid to Chris Reynolds, the full forward. Reynolds gets up uh, a little aggravated at the uh, kick he got, uh, or the push, sorry, that he got after he took the mark. But Reynolds has the ball. Too far out, Tiger, I would say, into this win to score. He kicks, uh, drop punt kick. It's looking for Rudy Gillam. And uh, in front of the pack, though, is a great mark for the Union. Who is it? Michael Gale, Shane says, has taken the mark. Superb judgment from the young fellow. He was standing in front of the pack, the umpire swinging him around a little bit. Michael Gale lines up for the first possible score of the match. He's kicked, I think he's steered it into the wind. It's a very good kick and the first goal. And look at the Union uh, players. They run to him, congratulate him, pat him on the back. And uh, the Union team all fired up and that's a great start for the Union tie. Yes, Bob, it certainly is. Uh, in fact, the player who made that uh, was Peter Templeton on the far side of the ground. He uh, grabbed the ball and he dodged through about three players, took his own hand pass back and drove it up towards Reynolds and the Union forwards are firing. A big knockdown from the south this time, comes out towards Rewald, he can't pick it up, he's throwing his weight about. That's picked up on this occasion by Mark Baker, he gets the ball out towards Mundy, he tries to pick the ball up, he's ridden into the turf, play on says the umpire. The ball goes out towards the Union player and Chris Hennessy who gets it across towards centre half forward, but the sudden player there in Peter Walker will take the free kick. Walker with the ball now, the centre half back for the south now, he'll drive the ball straight down the centre and it's a 60 metre drop punt, it goes over back of the pack, it goes down towards the southern player there trying to pick it up in Stephen Nichols, he was holding the coastal player when not in possession, he gets one to go on with and it's Mark Baker who will take the free kick at the centre half back position. Mark Baker now with the ball, drives it up towards the roadside wing, up go the big fellows, in front is the southern player, picked up there by the south in uh, Graham Fox, he gets the handball out there towards 
towards another sudden player in John Mundy. He's been a good player early, puts the ball down, and a strong mark. In fact, a good mark has been taken there on the far side of the ground by the uh, sudden player in Stephen Nichols. Nichols looking for uh, the Union player, but Michael Templeton chips in and takes the mark on the true halfback flank. In fact, it's not Templeton, it was Garden. He gets the ball up towards centre wing. It's given across there towards Keegan, kicked off the ground by Peter Templeton. The south in front for the ball, picked up then. The ball's come out, a good tackle from the coast. The southern player goes over and he'll take the free kick in the true centre position on the ground. The southern player, and this once again, name is Graham Fox. Graham Fox with the ball now, he'll drive the south, yet to score, into the forward line, the ball goes high, Eamon punches the ball away, going out after it there would be Wayne Keegan, he puts the ball out towards the Union player who misses what he should have picked up there, in Michael Garbutt finally drives the ball forward looking for Reynolds, it goes over the head of that player's head, leaving inside for the ball would be the southern player there in Tony March and he drives it down, Reynolds gives uh, the one to go on with it, once again the Union standing firm and the mark is taken in the true centre line position by the coastal player there taking the mark and it looked like it could have been uh, right Robbie Wright it was Robbie Wright drives the ball towards centre half forward it comes out towards the south player John Marchant with the ball the umpire Munson says play on as it's picked up by the south and driven forward Wade in front can't take the mark got a little nudge out he's trying to tap the ball on around the centre finally does so picks it up and drives it down towards goal leading in uh, the line for the ball would be the coastal player in Simpson he gives it across there to another coastal player in uh, uh, Robbie Wright Robbie Wright puts the ball up towards the centre wing leading in front for it's Gale he gives it back towards uh, Rob Muir Neville Muir on the ground he gives it across there towards uh, trying to pick it up but I mean Keegan and he's dispossessed when not in possession of the ball and Wayne Keegan takes the free kick on the halfback flank the Union doing well at the eight minute mark and we'll see some changes in the south because they're starting to get worried now the mark taken by Ivanov on centre wing a hand pass on towards Beaumont and the Union into attack towards centre half forward at the back of the pack is Gardam the ball punched away here's the south out of de defence this time kicked down towards the centre half forward position players are uh, edging each other out it finally comes through towards Baker he was caught could have been holding the ball umpire allows play to go on finally coming through there was Jones Jones's kick goes back towards the centre the uh, leading in a chase the ball there was uh, Fox for the for the uh, south that finally comes clear towards March and he can't pick it up he was tackled holding the ball should have been the decision umpire calls play on Gardam comes through handballs 30 metres towards centre half forward player diving on the top of the ball there was Honeybill for the south coming out towards Michael Temple now deep in the forward pocket and Temple screws it back over his shoulder but he screwed it too far and he's kicked it out of bounds on a full on the far side of the ground <laughs> Union one goal straight six kicking against the breeze and the south yet to score the kick taken by Farquhar in short finds Williamson Williamson on the half back line now for the uh, south kicks towards the centre wing rewalts the target but the ball taken by Templeton Templeton's left foot kick up towards full forward Reynolds from behind flies high couldn't take the mark ball hits the ground coming through strongly there was Williamson again for the two NFL and Reynolds is into action back there with Farquhar at full forward the ball comes down towards the half forward line for the south leading in the chase for the ball there was Damian Cox he paddles the ball along towards the boundary line in there also is Scott Wade for the south the ball kicked out. Is it out of bounds on the full? No, it was touched. And a throw will take place on the half forward line with the 2A NFL into attack. <laughs> throw in to take place. It's going to be Muir for the Union up against Rewalt. Neither side player got a decisive tap down. The umpires picked out a free kick though, and it will go the Union's way to be taken by Damian Cox. <coughs> Cox in the back line for the Union, goes to the drop punt kick, keeps it towards the roadside wing, Ivan off the target, the man in front, the ball hits the ground. Coming through strongly now is the uh, southern player, there was well tackle, was Williamson, it finally comes out towards the half forward line, the long kick down forward, looking for Fox, but it's going to be out of bounds on the full, and the resultant free kick will go towards Marcus Simpson in the back pocket. Simpson to defend now for the Union. Keep the ball close to the boundary line, the ball dropping in short, Two players diving on top of the ball there. No one can take it. Umpire's picked out a free kick, and it's going to Darren Perry. Perry from North Hobart drives the ball in towards centre half forward to the leading Fox. Fox is a yard in front and has taken the mark. And the captain of the 2A NFL, Wayne Fox, has the ball 45 metres out. 
Well, Shane, this would be his first ever shot at the goals at West Park, and it's pretty tricky down that end, and I'd, I'd say you'll miss it. He's uh, taking a lot of time over it. I think he'll miss it, Shane. 35 metres out. Fox comes in, drop putt on its way. Goal umpire doesn't move. Straight through the middle, one goal to the south, and scores a level after 10 minutes of play. If that had been a stick up the middle, Shane, he'd have knocked that over too. I wish you'd have said Tiger to got it. You might have put the moz on him. Well, um, I think, Tiger, one of the things that's impressed me so far about the Union's been their fierce tackling. Oh, they're... yes. Oh, that keyed, keyed up for this game, mate. Right, back to the centre. Umpire Mustin with the football. He throws it in the air. Muir and Rewalt. Rewalt gets the tap, but it doesn't go anywhere. And then uh, finally he said, the umpire says, you've thrown the ball out, son. And uh, Neville Muir, I think, will take the free kick. No, Ivanov, uh, who's had about five or six possessions so far. Ivanov with the football now. The umpire signals uh, recommencement of play, and Ivanov sends the ball out wide. It's dropping into this very strong breeze. Oh, roving well was Keegan. He gets the ball down, and a mark's taken there by Brown. Play on's the call. A hand pass comes across to Gardam. Gardam shoots from a long way out, but is off target, but uh, sufficient to allow the Union to regain the lead over the South. The Union 1 1 7, uh, leading. At the 10 minute mark, the South, one goal straight six. And I reckon it's a five or six goal breeze. And to me, the Union are doing extremely well as that ball's picked up there by Hennessy. He drives the ball uh, and the mark is taken there by Ken Beaumont. Well, Tig, you tried to uh, put the Moz down the other end, but even as well as Ken Beaumont knows this ground, that's a tremendous uh, goal to have to kick because he's kicking right into the breeze. He's kicked the ball, it's curving round well but uh, it was almost an impossible goal from that yes, angle. Yes, uh, it is an impossible goal. He's nearly got a boomerang that to get it back through and there's, as you say, a four or five goal breeze against him. It's not Farquhar bringing the ball in, it's Weir bringing the ball in. Farquhar has uh, got the job of minding Reynolds and uh, they've exchanged pleasantries on a couple of occasions, has been there already. The ball's in the centre of the ground, however. And uh, umpire Lyle Ahern says uh, we'll have a throw up. Neville Muir in ruck and Rewalt. Muir gets the tap down. It doesn't go anywhere, though. It goes to Excel, the, who was named on the interchange bench. It's on the ground already, but it only travels as far as Robbie Wright, who's playing a tremendous game in the back line. He gets the hand pass across to Mark, or the kick across to Marcus Simpson. Then it's uh, roved off the pack there by uh, Damien Cox, who's also doing well on the half-back line. Gives it towards uh, Keegan, and then comes up towards Rudy Gillam. Might have done enough to take the mark. He plays on quickly, gets a short right foot kick in, looking for both. Beaumont. Oh, Beaumont almost took it with him. Can't do so. They dive on top of Reynolds. And the umpire says, no, it was held to him. Didn't give Reynolds the uh, advantage of being first to the ball. Chris Reynolds playing a little more endeavour than uh, he perhaps has in a couple of cl club games. Probably something to prove as the ball was taken away there by Walker. He gets a high kick out to the wing. They're not playing West Park terribly well, Tig. The uh, South, they're... Uh, with this breeze, they should be going straight up and down the middle, and they're oh. tending to flank it very much. You've got to bring, on this breeze, you must bring the ball around the grandstand side, Bobby. If you look, the wind's blowing straight across our shoulder to the other side of the ground at a, probably a 60-degree angle, and that's the only way to play it. You watch the union, they'll bring the ball out here from the back pocket. So, uh, comments from uh, Tiger Dowling, who uh, coached uh, teams on this ground, Cooey in particular, and is well aware of how uh, the park should be played. Sends the ball out wide. Uh, does the union, comes down, roving well once more is Gardam, who's uh, playing in his own Guernsey of number nine. Ball's picked up there by Weir. Uh, I thought he had, so did the crowd. The crowd certainly uh, said that's plenty long enough, son. And uh, Beaumont once more has the ball. Reynolds going right back. Beaumont drives it in long. It's Reynolds and Farquhar. Reynolds uh, manages to get a fist to the ball, but uh, can't control it and goes over the line and will be thrown in. Farquhar not leaving Reynolds' side. Obviously, uh, he's been put out there. Rewald gets the tap down, and it's taken a hurried kick there by the Southern Rover. Goes to Ivanov. Why he's reveling in these conditions is Peter Ivanov. Uh, he goes back, drives the ball, looking for Reynolds. Reynolds is from behind, gives the player a shove, 
and it's seen by the umpire and uh, Farquhar's going to take the free kick. I think he's got to get in front, particularly oh, when the Union's yeah. kicking into the breeze, Tyg. I, I don't think he can, he can score from behind. He's had the one touch. Comes back to Farquhar. Farquhar plays on uh, with a hand pass immediately and now they've come to this side of the ground. But a free kick's been picked out and the free kick's going to go the south's way against Rudy Gillum. Instructions coming right, left and centre. Uh, Walker with the football. He's been fairly impressive too. Four or five grabs. Walker goes on with Rewalt with a hand pass. Ha Rewalt kicks it and they're swinging back to the wrong side of the ground as the ball comes to the off, off hands. Then uh, away it comes with hand passes over to Nick Clark. Nick Clark finally swings round with a kick. Looking towards Fox. He's the danger man but coming off the hands of the pack is uh, Scott Knight who knocks the ball over and Scott Knight started at centre half back and he knocks the ball over the boundary line for a throw in 15 minutes into the first quarter the ball thrown in Muir tries to get the tap can't do so it was Knights who actually got the tap sends it towards the boundary line oh a melee of players right over on the far side finally it's picked up there for by the south by Mundy who's uh, been in everything at the moment uh, he can't get a kick in uh, play umpire rushing in and will have to affect a bounce. Yes, yeah, Scott Knight, as uh, Bob said, doing well on Mick Honeybell at centre-half back as the ball's now thrown in, picked up again by Honeybell. He has a bang at the goals. He's hooked it across goal for one point only and uh, that puts the South back on level, level turns. In fact, they still trail by one point. One goal, one leads, one goal, two and goals are certainly golden at West Park here this afternoon. Simpson with the ball now. He'll put the uh, coast back into the uh, centre half back position as Scott Knights goes up and is punched away by Honeyball. It comes down towards Monday. He gives it out towards Robbie Wright. He's dispossessed of the ball. Play on, says the umpire, as we see Templeton try to get the ball out. Picked up once again by Monday. He gives it out to the sudden player there in Graham Fox. Has been a good player. He puts it forward. Simpson leading in the race to the ball, but it'll beat all players over the boundary line and out of bounds at the 16 minute mark of the first quarter. The coast's eight points lead the TANFL the South on seven points the 16 minute mark and uh, four goal breeze so favouring the South the rain has stopped here at West Park as it's thrown in, punched away by Rewald on that time on the second occasion it looks like it's the coast player in Mark Bayer punches it away but the ball's over the boundary line <laughs> and out of bounds on the far side of the ground 30 metres round from the South goal in it comes, in the ruck once again, We've got the big fellow uh, Neville Muir in the ruck against Mick Honeybell, but punched away by Scott Knights. Down it goes towards the little fellow in uh, Scott Wade. He gives it out towards Cox, Cox towards Simpson. He doesn't know where to go, he's in trouble, Simpson. Oh dear, oh dear, hesitated. And there is, if ever you've seen the old proverb, he who hesitates is lost, and he's bumped. Well, we just saw a magic goal kicked by Stephen Nichols. He roved the pack beautifully in Les Bamblett and Kevin Bartlett style as uh, Scott uh, Knight punched it away, he roved it and punched it through. Darrell Shepherd going on the ground for the uh, coast. Ian Gardham coming off, so they're using their ruck rovers. The bench it goes down the south towards Fox again. Fox leading Simpson in the race for the ball. A new ball being brought out on this occasion. I think that's bad management on behalf of the union because uh, they should have the advantage of the new ball in the second quarter. The ball's out of bounds in the forward pocket. Five metres around from the south goal. Honeybell in the ruck. No, it's not. Rewald goes in the ruck against Muir. Rewald gets the tap down. Brings it back towards Wade. He can't pick it up. He's dispossessed. Trying to pick it up there. Would have been the uh, southern player there once again in Monday. But it beats all players over the boundary line. And we're going to see a lot of that today as it's over the boundary line. Now 40 metres around from the south goal. The south lead by six points as the ball's thrown in now. Muir in the ruck this time against uh, Honeybell. That's picked up on that occasion given out towards uh, looks like the southern player there in Nick Clark he gives it across towards Wade Wade tries to punch it around it's picked up by the southern player bangs it for goal and I tell you what it's looking good from here in fact it is it's a beautiful goal and I think that was March and Stephen Nichols I beg your pardon that's his second in as many minutes Stephen Nichols he was the danger man in the south now lead by 12 points in these conditions uh, Shane the union cannot afford to let them get more than about 15 or 16 points up at any change no, the Union started off well kicking the first goal, but the, the uh, Southerners have struck back with three quick goals. And at the 20-minute mark in the first term, they lead 3-2-20 to the Union, one goal, 2-8.
Umpire throwing the ball up in the centre of the ground. Muir taps it down towards Templeton. The ball comes down towards the half forward line. It's all the south here though as Marchant comes onto the scene. So too does Peter Templeton. Templeton pushes the ball out along in front of him. Marchant still leader back up and kicks out towards centre wing. Going to be a clash of players here now. The ball hits the turf. Getting a push in the back there was uh, the player in the Wade. He picks it up, gets a hand pass out. Player screaming past as Dykes. Dykes is kicked back towards the 4-4 position. Coming out strongly there but unable to take the mark. Players diving on top of the free kick's been picked out this time. It'll go the way of Perry. Perry's kick down towards the forward pocket, looking for Fox. Fox has it, traps it well, screws it over his shoulder, down deep into the forward pocket, running back, and a strong mark taken here on this occasion by Robbie Wright. Wright in the back pocket now for the Union. Trailing by 12 points, we've played 21 minutes into the opening turn. The kick looking for Brown, picking it up there was uh, Clark. His kick goes across the face of goal and out of bounds on the far side of the ground and a throw in to take place. 20 minutes gone in the opening turn. Shane, the South are certainly prepping the goals, but uh, that's very tricky down there and they really don't know where they are. 12 points the difference as the boundary umpire throws it in. It's going to be Muir in the rucking jewels and he's contesting this one with Honeybill. The ball comes across the back of the pack, taken by Clark. Clark's hand pass was intercepted. Ball back in the forward pocket. Honeybill's there again. Gets onto a left foot kick. Finds a player going past there in Williamson. He was dispossessed. Players diving on top of the ball, and the umpire will call for it now. Only 20 metres out from the Southerners' goal. Three goals, 2.20. The TANFL to the Union, one goal, 2.8. And we've played 23 minutes in the opening term as the ball goes up. Another big pack of players develop and the umpire has no hesitation in calling for it. Honeybell up high with Muir. Now Muir had his eyes on the ball and because he's able to jump higher, the free kick's been given against him and Honeybell will take the free only 45 metres out. So Michael Honeybell now, New Norfolk. New Norfolk player, there's the kick for goal, he's drifted it across the face of the goal and it's only one behind only. So it's three goals, three, 21 to the TANFL and the NWFU, one goal, two, eight and we've played 23 minutes in the opening quarter. It's going to be Simpson to bring the ball back into play. Looking for his ruck out here on the halfback flank. Templeton's his target from behind Baker, punched the ball away. Comes back towards Baker, he can't trap it. Finally, the uh, Southerners take the ball forward across towards centre-half forward. Templeton dropped the mark that he should have taken. Swooping on the ball there was Fox. Tried to break through three tackles. G going into lend assistance there was Rogers. Putting, picking the ball up and screwing it across the face of the goal was Darren Perry, but it's out of bounds on the far side, and another throw will take place. Well, the Southerners kicking with a strong breeze. And at this stage, they only trail by, they only uh, lead rather by two goals. There's the throw in taking place. Muir thumps the ball towards the boundary. Players from both sides, desperate, diving in on top of it, taken by Simpson. He runs across the face of the goal again, a hand pass to Shepherd, and the Union team out of trouble with a kick out wide, looking for that player in Keegan, and he's marked on the halfback flank. 15 metre penalty two as Keegan comes up towards the centre wing position. And there's the kick, looking for Rudy Gillum. Gillum at the back of the pack. Taps the ball back behind him, dives in on top of it. Southern player there. In uh, that player there is uh, Chris Rogers. Clarence player in Rogers diving in on top of it. Desperate play. There's the bounce down. Rewald, a beautiful tap down, but shark well by Ricky Brown. He's kicked down looking for Reynolds. Reynolds one-handed, taken by Ivanoff. Hand pass out wide looking for Templeton, but it's beaten that player out of play and a throwing to take place on the half forward line. The Ivanos quick, Shane. That was a very smart piece of work. In fact, it was a tiny bit too fast. Ball thrown high in the air. Rudy Gillum in the ruck. He gets the tap down, but it only goes as far as Fox. He's caught with a football, and uh, yes, the umpire, Ahern, says, you dropped it, my son, and the ball is going to be taken back to uh, Michael Gale. Too far out, though, I think, Tig, even though he's been the only goal kicker for the Union. Mind you, they've only kicked one. Michael Gale kicks. It's a lovely kick, but you can see it curling into the breast. Oh, from behind. Play on's the call. Oh, Kenny Beaumont from behind. Well, oh, sailed above the entire pack. He was. 
I reckon he, he, he would have got the bends coming back down again if you can get the bends coming back down. Bounce comes over. Union's away again. A hand pass out to Ricky Brown. Ricky Brown, uh, Templeton it was. Sorry, Steadies. Then gets one round uh, behind the ears. This allows uh, Curley to come through. He sends the ball straight down the centre of the ground. But uh, Simpson's well in front of Fox there. But gee, look at the distance that that kick carried. That shows the strength of the breeze here. And for mine, the Union are still doing well. We're into time on. There's not going to be a lot of time on. There's only four goals scored. And should the Union uh, hold the South and not allow them to get uh, away any further, or certainly not allow them to kick any more goals, then I don't think 12 points for the first quarter is such a bad deficit. Certainly if they can capitalise on the breeze, it's more than a two-goal breeze. The ball thrown high in the air. Well, you can see that one curling round. Oh, Darren Perry almost got the ride from the throw-in, but couldn't do so. Neville Muir couldn't uh, steer a hand pass out through the pack, and Darren Perry hands the ball back to umpire Muston. He throws the ball in the air. Ball's picked straight out of the pack there by the uh, southern uh, uh, full forward in Fox. But his kick towards goal is astray and one behind only. Well, I don't think the odd behind will matter. But Simpson kicks it to himself. Play on calls the umpire. Simpson then makes 10 or 15 metres, then gets a kick out. Oh, must be a free kick for the Union there through uh, Robbie Wright. And Robbie Wright, uh, to me, has been nearly the best player for the Union Tig so yes. far. Certainly on the back line, he's, uh, he's played extremely well. Time on uh, called there as the ball is sent forward, looking for Rudy Gillum. He's uh, two there and can't get it. Hand pass comes out and will go back to Curley. And Curley then goes in short, looking for and finding with a very, very good kick, Stephen Nichols. Well, he's kicked two of the three that the South have kicked. And he's providing a, a good focus in attack. That was a well judged kick, Tig, because yes. uh, a while ago, uh, one from uh, Curley would have been, he, he nearly could have kicked the distance. Well, look at it, straight through the middle. We don't have to move, we don't have to make any commentary, and that was really one that the union didn't want, Tig. Well, uh, he's certainly going to be the danger man, Stephen Nichols. I suppose you could say he's had four kicks, he's the supreme opportunist. He's picked up two from snaps, but that was a courageous mark, and he's the guy that we're going to have to watch. I thought it would have been Fox. Waiting for the ball to come back to the centre, or it's come back to the centre. Can only be seconds left in the quarter. 29 minutes have already elapsed. Rewalt takes the knock out of the air. This gives them first use of the ball. The south uh, kick going nowhere is tapped forward there by the Union. Uh, caught with the football then was Rogers. He couldn't do much with it. Aerial ping pong at the moment. This ball smothered off the boot of Williamson. Finally, it comes forward. Rudy Gillum uh, has got his player around the neck. And uh, Walker, who is on top of Rudy Gillum at the moment, gets the free kick. Walker sends the ball out onto the attacking side, but there's the siren to end the first quarter. And the first quarter sees the scoreboard the south. Four goals, four, a total of 28. The Northwest Football Union, 1 3 9. Umpire Alan Muston with the football in the centre of the.